Hello, Answerly viewers. As a bunch of nerds, we're pretty used to waiting for things. Book releases, movie releases, being in long lines to be first to get various products, such as games or tickets to conventions or concerts. But lately, I feel like nerd patience is being a little bit taken advantage of. I think you might know what I'm talking about. The dreaded mid-season break. I'm not sure when this started or whose great idea it was, but now instead of just having one long period of waiting in between seasons of our favorite shows, it seems more and more popular to split TV shows in half, sticking another extended wait right in the middle. Why? Why do they do this to us? For some shows, it's not too bad. A lot of sitcoms took about a month off around Christmas, which is okay because a lot of the viewers are busy with holiday things and family things, and it, it wasn't that big of a deal. As much as I despise waiting, I get it. But what about shows like Doctor Who that's been on hold since September? Or The Walking Dead whose third season has kept us in suspense since early December? Or Breaking Bad who started season 5 last summer and won't be back for an entire year? What are we supposed to do? The cliffhangers are cliffhangier, the wait is even more agonizing, and our patience is wearing thin. This is really truly what the internet is for. When we, as a group of nerds, are forced to wait for the things we love, the internet is our refuge. We can find the other people who also like our shows and go through all of the stages of grief together. One, denial. Operate as though your show will be back the next week and don't quite let the news sink in yet. Tweet about how excited you are to find out what happens next. But then two, anger. Kick and scream and cry and write really mad all caps Facebook statuses and write a really angry blog post if it helps at all. Three, bargaining. Make one of those digital online petitions and get all of the other fans of your show to sign it to try to get the network that runs your show to bring it back earlier. It's not gonna work but it might make you feel better. Four, depression. Start to forget the names of minor characters. Get confused about where exactly the show left off because it's been so long since you saw that final episode. Rewatch the entire season, feeling the sting of that cliffhanger again the second time, hurting just as bad as the first time, and getting really mad all over again when you realize that there still aren't new episodes. And five, acceptance. Make a Tumblr to help yourself and other people through their own grief as they wait for the show. Set a counter on your blog and wait. Because what else can we do? Until next time, it's game over. All of the movements done by different vendors over the course of the show are actually based on real forms of fighting. Earthbending movements are based on the Hungar style of Kung Fu, firebending on the northern Shaolin Kung Fu, and waterbending is modeled after Tai Chi.